A very good evening. You're watching the 11 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sikir Palace today Thai Prime Minister General Prayut Chanacha, who is currently on an official visit to the kingdom. Also present were His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The Thai guest conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of His Majesty King Vajilongkorn of Thailand and his wishes of further progress and prosperity for Bahrain and its people. His Majesty King Hamid asked the Thai Premier to convey his best wishes to His Majesty the King of Thailand and for his people hopes of continued development. He said the visit of the Thai Prime Minister marks another chapter in enhancing joint cooperation, commending the efforts of General Prayat Chanacha in further strengthening Bahraini-Thai relations. The meeting reviewed ways of bolstering cooperation in the economic, commercial, investment, cultural and tourism fields in line with agreements between the two countries. His Majesty the King expressed Bahrain's keen interest to promote relations with Thailand and expand partnerships in both public and private sectors. He noted the importance of official and business visits to the development of bilateral ties. He also asserted the necessity of promoting relations between the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, the GCC, and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, especially in the areas of politics, economy, investments and culture, in addition to working on increasing commercial exchange volumes on both sides. He further said the GCC and ASEAN share a lot in common, as they both belong to strategic regions of international commercial and economic importance. His Majesty praised the achievements that have been made by Thailand in its economy, development and culture, highlighting its positive role in its Asian surrounding. He also commended the fruitful role of the Thai community and their contributions to the development process of Bahrain. The Thai Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for the warm hospitality he has received and commended the role of His Majesty the King in strengthening bilateral relations. He thanked His Majesty for his care and support to the Thai community members, asserting his country's keenness to expand fields of cooperation with Bahrain. He also hailed Bahrain's achievements and economic growth, as well as its efforts in serving its people.
His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa received at Sikir Palace today the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Malaysia, the Republic of Korea and Brazil, as well as the European Union. The ambassador of Malaysia, Agus Salim bin Haji Yusuf, arrived at Al-Sakir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. Ambassador of the Republic of Korea, Kyu Hyun Moo, arrived at Al-Sakir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The newly appointed ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the ambassador of Korea and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of Brazil, Norton de Andrade Melo Repesta, arrived at Sikir Palace, where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador and head of the European Union delegation, Mikhail Chervoni, arrived at Sikir Palace, where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. 
During the receptions, His Majesty the King underlined the close relations linking Bahrain and their countries and the progress of these relations in many areas. Also present were the personal representative of His Majesty the King, the Minister of the Royal Court, the Foreign Minister, the Follow-up Minister at the Royal Court and the Royal Protocol's Chief. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received at Qadibiya Palace today the Thai Prime Minister, General Prayat Chanacha, in line with the official visit he is conducting in response to an invitation from His Royal Highness. Upon his arrival, an official reception was held for the Thai Prime Minister. 
during which the Royal Thai Anthem and Bahrain's National Anthem were played. After that, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and his Thai counterpart inspected the Guards of Honour who lined up for salute. Then the Thai Prime Minister greeted Bahrain's ministers and officials, and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister greeted the Thai official delegation.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed confidence that the visit of his Thai counterpart will add a new dimension to the bilateral relations of friendship and cooperation. He said Bahraini Thai relations have become a model for relations between states as they are based on mutual respect and achieving joint interests. He expressed keen interest to reinforce joint cooperation in the commercial and investment fields as well as the field of food security. His Royal Highness highlighted the development of Thailand in all fields, which paves the way for exchanging expertise, recalling the contributions of the Thai community in the development process of Bahrain. The meeting reviewed regional and international development and asserted that more cooperation amongst GCC and ASEAN countries is needed to reinforce security and stability in addition to enhancing Gulf Asian cooperation. The Thai Prime Minister, meanwhile, said His Royal Highness the Prime Minister is a symbol for wise leadership who is appreciated and respected internationally. He congratulated His Royal Highness for being honoured by the Arab League for his developmental accomplishments in Bahrain. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness to promote bilateral relations as well as his care to support Gulf Asian ties, confirming that Bahrain is considered the best friend for Thailand in the region, thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. Then official talks were held between the two sides, chaired by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the Thai Premier, General Praya Chanacha. They agreed on increasing economic, commercial and investment cooperation and to develop joint projects between both countries' private sectors. They also agreed to reinforce cooperation in the fields of agriculture, health, education, tourism, transport and communications, as well as increased cooperation in international forums on various regional and global issues. The foreign ministers of Bahrain and Thailand were assigned to follow up through the Joint Supreme Committee between the two countries. The meeting also assigned the relevant ministers to activate the work of existing agreements, memorandums of understanding and executive programs, totaling up to 26 agreements and MOUs. Both sides noted the importance of the meeting in supporting bilateral relations and the keenness to strengthen them in the political, economic and trade fields. The two sides exchanged views on the mechanisms to promote joint cooperation in the fields of trade, investment and tourism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that Bahraini-Thai relations are always developing due to the desire of both sides. The Thai Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for the generous hospitality and for her support of Thai Gulf relations. He also expressed admiration of the development behind witnesses, noting Bahrain's support to host Thailand's Gulf Asian Ministerial Meeting this year and its initiative to host the Asian Cooperation Secretary's Meeting this year. General Rayo Chan Kutcha and Mota, Rais Wudara Mamilaka Thailand of Sadila. The Sadina at the Haifi Mahadikum were worth the Murafa when Arab were an bad of the Rurana behind his Yara and Lati Natalau and Tuskimu feet at his and Arafat. والترابط بين بلدينا وشعبينا الصديقين ونؤكد حرص مملكة البحرين على تطوير التعاون في مختلف الأصعدة وسعينا الدعم للتنسيق في القضايا الأقليمية والدولية ذات الاهتمام المشترك نتطلع إلى دوام التقدم والازدهار لبلدينا متمنين لكم طيب الإقامة في مملكة البحرين.
ผู้ร่วมคณะการปฏิบัติครั้งนี้นะครับทางด้านขวามือท่านดอนปรมาภิไนนะครับปฏิบัติการทางต่างประเทศเราอีซีจีสตาร์เดนเบิร์กมาเดนเบิร์กของไมค์ไวท์ไทม์ดิสโตร์ปรมาภิไนนี้ในส่วนฟอนต์แบสอภิรดีจันทราพรนะครับสถิตประกันสุขานิษฐ์เลสเลสอภิรดีจันทราพรอดีสุขเมศนายชัยพันธ์บำรุงพงศ์เอกรัตูดครับเลสอนุสชีพันธ์บำรุงพงศ์ดัชเนีายหลานอภัยหลานชูกาเรนนายปัญญรัตน์คุณพระกองบรรลุโอกาสต่างประเทศเลสมิสเตอร์ปัญญรัตน์คุณสอบติดเดชิพันธ์เนสซี่มิสเตอร์มินิสเตอร์ฟอนต์แบสในกระชาเลิศจำนงอธิบดีกรมเอเชียใต้ตะวันออกกลางแอฟริกา Next m i s t e r p e r t a n เลิศจำนง Director General of Department of South Asian Middle East and African Affairs in the South Asia รองศาสตราจารย์ดรชูชาติชักุลอธิการบดีมหาวิทยาลัยสงขลานครินทร์ And uh, Deputy Associate Professor ชูชาติชักุลดี the Dean of the University of สงขลานครินทร์ด้านซ้ายครับคนเด็กจากชายสาลิกรยาตั้งติว่าการกระทรวงเกษตรนะสาครทำไมเล็กเจ้าหน้าที่ชายสาลิกรยาในสาขาเกษตรเกษตรนายแพทย์ปิยะสกุลบุคคลสัญญาครตั้งติว่าการกระทรวงสาธารณสุขมิสเตอร์ปิยะสกุลสกุลสัญญาครในสาขาเกษตรคนเด็กวิลาอรุณศรีเลขาธิการนายกรัฐมนตรีเจ้าหน้าที่วิลาอรุณศรีอินสแตทูชั่นออฟเดอะฟาร์มินิสเตอร์ในช่วงนี้แก้วแสงรองเลขาธิการคณะกรรมการส่งเสริมการลงทุนมิสเตอร์โชคดีแก้วแสงดัชนีสตูดิโอไทยแลนด์บอร์ดออฟอินเวสเมนต์นายบุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรอธิบดีกรมเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญยริศกาลยาธรรมิตรเอกรัฐมนตรีเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์
a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and the Thai Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperatives was signed in the field of agricultural cooperation. The MOU was signed by the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Isan Khalaf, and Thai Minister of Agriculture and Cooperatives, General Chat Chai Sarakulia. An MOU was also signed between the University of Bahrain and Prince of Songkhla University, which was inked by UOB President Dr. Riyad Hamza and the Thai University's President, Assistant Professor Chusak Limsakol. After that, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister held a lunch banquet in honour of the Thai Prime Minister and its accompanying delegation, which was also attended by senior state officials. At the end of the meeting of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the Thai Prime Minister, a joint statement was issued between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Thailand on the occasion of the Thai Prime Minister's official visit.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, bade farewell to Thailand's Premier, General Prayut chan who wrapped up his official visit to Bahrain today. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed his appreciation for General chan visit, which consisted of positive discussions aimed at elevating cooperation in various fields. He affirmed the visit is a new step forward to consolidate the foundations of and improve the prospects for bilateral cooperation. General chan expressed his thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the generous hospitality he received during his visit. He hailed His Royal Highness's keenness to strengthen ties between the two countries, which has contributed to an outstanding model of fruitful partnership and cooperation in all fields. The farewell ceremony was also attended by the Deputy Prime Ministers, a number of officials and the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain from Thailand. At the end of the meeting of His Royal Highness Prime Minister and the Thai Prime Minister, a joint statement was issued between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Thailand to mark the occasion of the Thai Prime Minister's official visit. It reads as follows. The two sides attach great importance to this official visit to Bahrain, which also marks the first visit of the Thai Prime Minister to the Middle East. The visit coincided with the 40th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Thailand. The Thai Prime Minister expressed his deep appreciation to the government of Bahrain for supporting Thailand at the bilateral and multilateral levels. He also reiterated Thailand's determination to further strengthen the excellent relations between the two kingdoms. The two sides discussed key bilateral, regional and global issues and expressed their desire to further enhance the partnership between the two countries. The two sides exchanged views on topics of mutual interest, including political and economic affairs, human security, public health, food security and energy security, aviation and sustainable urbanization, as well as views on regional and international issues relating to the promotion of peace, stability and prosperity at regional and global levels. Both leaders expressed their full confidence in the success of Thailand's path towards democracy and Bahrain's ongoing democratic development. The two sides reaffirmed the importance of their bilateral High Joint Commission and agreed to hold the third High Joint Commission meeting in Bahrain in 2017, at a date to be mutually agreed through diplomatic channels. The Thai side commended Bahrain's progressive economic policy, as articulated in Bahrain's Government Action Plan 2015-2018 to and Bahrain's Vision 2030, which has promoted Bahrain's prosperity and the well-being of the people of Bahrain. The two leaders were satisfied with the increase of tourist flow and the promotion of two-way tourism and medical tourism. The two sides recognized the benefits of exchanges in healthcare and medical professions and specialists and agreed to encourage such exchanges at both the government level and at private sector levels. The two sides denounced terrorism in all of its forms and manifestations, regardless of its motives or goals. They called for serious actions to confront the threat of terrorism and reconfirmed their desire to strengthen cooperation at both the bilateral and multilateral levels to combat terrorism and the financing of terrorism. The two sides stressed the importance of further promoting ASEAN-GCC relations. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today opened the 9th International Youth Conference, Give Back, which focuses on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. His Highness Sheikh Nasser emphasized the importance of the Sustainable Development Goals, saying they are guidelines for everyday life and should influence all decisions. He said that while a majority of countries have an abundance of resources to fulfill present needs, the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals will determine the lives of future generations. He noted that the conference involved a spectrum of countries and different cultures that are united in humanity. He added that there are groups of people around the world suffering from famine and that it was a social responsibility to discuss this problem during the conference. His Highness concluded by saying it is the youth's time to take the lead in achieving the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. The conference included a play entitled The Story of Determination, focused on the historic environmental element, the palm tree, which is used as a symbol of sustainability, strength and perseverance. Indian-born Australian author Saru Brearley, who is the guest of honour at the event, expressed his thanks to the Kingdom of Bahrain for hosting this conference. 
He hailed the Kingdom for allowing young people from around the world to participate in the formulation of innovative plans that serve humanity and abolish poverty as the under undercurrent of the 17 goals. At the event's conclusion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser awarded the speakers and cooperating parties. He also received a commemorative gift from the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham Al Jowder, in recognition of His Highness's patronage of the Youth Conference's ninth edition. Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Education and Training Development, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, met at his office in Qaybiya Palace today the General Director of the Arab Education Office, Dr. Abdul Khalik Al Karani, as well as a number of ex ministers and officials taking part in the The Role of the Teacher in Educational Efficiency seminar. Also present was Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Al Noemi. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak confirmed the importance of the issues discussed during the seminar which shed light on the role of teachers and ways of further polishing their skills in order to provide the best education for students. 
He pointed out that Bahrain has made large strides in developing the skills of its teachers through establishing the Teachers College, which is one of the initiatives of the Education and Training Development Project that enabled the Kingdom to graduate many generations of qualified teachers. The audience, meanwhile, thanked the Deputy Premier for meeting with them and commended Bahrain's rapid development and progress in the field of education and specifically in training teachers. Earlier today, before his departure, Thai Prime Minister General Prayat Chanacha, accompanied by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, paid a visit to Ahmed Al Fattah Grand Mosque in Jaffer. The Thai Prime Minister toured the mosque, which is considered one of the unique Islamic monuments in the kingdom. He expressed his admiration of the architectural design and Islamic inter inscriptions of the mosque, which reflect part of the urban development in Bahrain. Deputised by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Khalifa today opened three exhibitions at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Centre, namely the Gulf Property Show 2017, Gulf Interiors Exhibition and Gulf Constructions Expo. On this occasion, the Deputy Premier expressed pride in opening these exhibitions on behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, noting his keenness to patronise such annual events which reflect the interest in the construction sector. He added that the draft law for the organization of the real estate sector is likely to add stability and organization to the sector and its related careers, adding that the government's referral of the draft law to the legislative authority reflects its continuous follow-up of legislature and its vision in dealing with such a dynamic sector. The Deputy Premier commended the efforts of all the event organizers, hailing the role of the sector in supporting the specialized exhibition industry. He welcomed the participation of exhibiting countries amounting to 25, who were able to present their projects and projects to all expected visitors. Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah highlighted that these exhibitions represent an opportunity for local and Gulf markets to promote projects in the construction, real estate and interior design sectors. For his part, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Al Halal Conference and Exhibition Company, Anwar Abdurrahman, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronizing the exhibition and to the Deputy Prime Minister for his attendance. He also expressed pleasure in the support the exhibition receives from His Royal Highness, which affirms his support of the private sector, which helps him carry out his developmental role and social responsibility to support the national economy.
a dedicated boutique showcase for real estate and property development, the Gulf Property Show highlights present and future developments in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Northern Gulf, providing the opportunity to promote Bahrain's property assets as well as regional and international opportunities for investors in commercial and residential real estate. Uh, this exhibition is a very specialized uh, exhibition uh, from the point of view that it's uh, three exhibitions under one roof. It's a very smart way of uh, exhibiting uh, product, exhibiting uh, uh, housing, uh, exhibiting projects. Bahrain's strategic location as a commercial gateway. Saudi Arabia, the region's most important strategic market, is just 25 kilometers away, providing investors, developers and property professionals with the opportunity to visit the show conveniently. The significance of this event is what you can see around you. It is in Bahrain the largest one-stop shop for the property, interiors and the construction sector. It's a marriage of three uh, disciplines which are basically correlated. So you need to buy a house, you need to decorate it, you need to repair it. So all the sorts of suppliers that you would be looking for are all in the same space. The growing property investor demands of the Middle East and other Gulf countries are important for investment that offers tremendous business opportunities. Gulf Property Show is one of the biggest uh, uh, property exhibition in Bahrain and uh, we always uh, be interested to participate as a, spon as a sponsor and uh, exhibitor uh, as uh, we always get a very good interest uh, from the buyers and the end users uh, the big number of end users that will be actually uh, coming and uh, to buy whether apartments or uh, villas or plots the Gulf property show will continue until April 27 here at Bahrain International Convention and Exhibition Center for Bahrain news I'm Shogun Mohammed Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, chaired today the Council's weekly meeting, during which they approved the four week extension requests of the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission, Financial and Economic Affairs Committee, Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security Committee, Services Committee, Public Utilities and Environment Committee, Parliamentary Women and Children Affairs Committee, and the Parliamentary Committee for Youth and Sports. The Council also approved a statement regarding communication between some foreign embassies with possible candidates for the 2018 Representatives Council elections. The Asian Parliamentary Committee on Economic and Sustainable Development held its first meeting in Bahrain today with two topics on the agenda, economic growth and the role of the Asian Parliament Assembly, APA, in adopting legislation to implement sustainable development goals. The meeting included a speech from the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, as well as a presentation and discussion 